Introduction Anarchist theory is notoriously underread among anarchists themselves. One of the reasons for this is that anarchist theory can be particularly challenging to read. This is especially the case for the classical theory from the 18th and 19th centuries, texts which are not only characterized by a lengthy and complex writing style to which modern readers are typically unaccustomed, but which are also frequently unsystematized, sometimes describing various aspects of an anarchist model without actually explaining how the entire model fits together as a coherent whole. While modern anarchist theory, especially from the mid-20th century onwards, is far more accessible, it can still be difficult to identify exactly how a particular anarchist model functions or a specific anarchist author's view on an aspect of society. Let's say you want to find out what Proudhon thought of markets. Instead of locating one of Proudhon's books and scanning through it, you're more likely to simply type Proudhon market into Google, hit enter, and hope for the best. You're probably going to find yourself doing that a lot. Bakunin, private property, enter. Kropotkin, personal property, enter. Tolstoy, Christian anarchism, enter. There are two problems with this. The first is that you're invariably going to end up reading a secondary or tertiary source, which is most likely simply citing other secondary sources. You're a lot less likely to locate and read the actual work by the original author. Consequently, you can quickly end up developing the tendency to avoid reading the original theory itself out of preference for what other people say about it. While this is understandable, it really isn't a good habit to get into, and it can be a hard habit to get out of. The second is that this method isn't really very helpful when you're looking for something very specific. Maybe you want to know exactly how Proudhon thought anarchist communities should handle decision making, or if Bakunin thought an anarchist society should have any regulations. This is a lot more difficult to find with a random Google search. How these videos work. This video series attempts to make anarchist theory more accessible by condensing the views of various anarchist writers into short presentations no more than three minutes long. In each video, I present one anarchist's thoughts in a systematic way, addressing their views on these subjects. 1. How social order should be maintained. 2. Markets and goods. 3. The relationship of property to the community and individuals. 4. How the community should be structured. 5. The community's decision making processes. 6. The means of production. This not only presents their views in a systematic way, it also provides easy access to their proposals for various aspects of society which are commonly addressed by anarchist theories. What these videos do and don't do. Of course, I am acutely aware of the danger of my videos simply becoming yet another secondary source between you and the original material. Consequently, each video will consist of me quoting the writings of the anarchist author themselves with as little interpretation or commentary from me as possible. Individual sources will be cited in the video and linked to in the description box, and page numbers will be included in quotations in the video and again in the description box. Please note that by their very nature, these videos will not always be able to explicate the author's views on a topic in detail, though they will be as specific as possible. Frequently, an author's views on a subject such as property may be scattered unsystematically throughout one or more of their writings and expressed in a way which isn't particularly transparent. Where this is the case, I will quote from one or two representative passages, providing the quotations in context on screen and will explain them as simply as I'm able within the available time. These videos aren't intended to be full-scale explainers. That would defeat the purpose and may discourage you from reading the theory yourself. They're intended to be introductions, providing a brief and reliable guide to an author's writing on specific anarchist topics and supplying citations which enable you to locate the author's thoughts yourself, verify what I've said, and read further into the primary sources. Think of these videos as a way of helping you navigate anarchist works and helping you read them for yourself. 
by watching these videos, you'll get a general overview of the author's system of anarchist thought, and you'll know where to look in their writings in order to learn more directly from them. Ultimately, I intend to create some infographic style images which will summarize this information visually and which can be shared conveniently on social media.